Good day everyone, welcome to our new video lesson in Mathematics in the Modern World. For this video, the topic will be Arguments in Symbolic Form. So, sa video na to, pag-aaralan natin kung paano i-present yung isang argument in symbolic form. So, before we go on, so let's have first the definition of arguments. So, an argument in mathematics is a set of initial statements and those initial statements are known to be as premises followed by a conclusion. So, example number one, so we have the if-then statement. So, if P, then Q. Then we have here P and therefore Q. So, the first two premises or the first two propositions are known to be as the premises. So, we have the premise one and we have the premise number two. So, if P, then Q and P. And then, the last proposition will be our conclusion. So, ito yung nilalaman ng isang argument. So, meron tayong premises at meron tayong conclusion. Example number two. So, let's identify. So, what are the premises and what is the conclusion for this given argument? So, we have not P, then Q. We have P, then we have not Q. So, the first two propositions are known to be as our premises. And we have here the conclusion. So, yung premise number one natin is if not P, then Q. Then, ang, pre ang premise number two natin will be P. Then, our conclusion is not Q. For example, number three, so we have the premises and we have the conclusion. So, pag kinolekta natin yung ating mga data, yung ating mga proposition, so ang premise number one natin is if A, then B. Premise number two is B, then the conclusion is A. Okay, so let's try this example. So, let's have the given arguments. We have if M, then not K. M, therefore Okay, so yung tatlong tuldok na to, ang basa natin dito ay therefore. Then we have for the second, we have if not S, then not T, not T, therefore S. So yung last proposition natin will be our conclusion. The first two, prem the first two propositions are the premises. Okay, so for number one, ang ating premise number one will be if M, then not K. Ang premise number 2 natin will be M. Then, ang conclusion natin will be K. Example number 2, we have here premise number 1. If not S, then not T. Premise 2, not T. Conclusion, S. So, ganon ang pagkuha or pag-identify ng premises and conclusion. So, tandaan kung ano yung nasa dulo na proposition. So, that will be our conclusion for the given arguments. Okay, and then now, so let's have the arguments in symbolic form. So our given argument will be converted into symbolic form. So pagsusunod-sunod din lang natin yan. So we'll have here the equivalent symbolic form of these arguments as if P, then Q, and P. So yan, close lang natin with a bracket para ma-separate yung ating premises doon sa ating conclusion. And then for this example, yung ating arrow, yung pangalawang arrow natin will be read as therefore, therefore Q. So, paano siya babasahin? So, that will be if P, then Q, and P, therefore Q. So, again, if P, then Q, and P, therefore Q. So, that will be the arguments in symbolic form. Second example, so we have here if not P, then Q. We have P, we have not Q. So, pag kinonvert natin ng symbolic form yan, it will be in this format. So, if not P, then Q, and P, therefore, not Q. Okay, example number three, we have if A, then B. Then we have B, we have therefore A. So, convert that into symbolic form. So, that will be if A, then B, 
and B. So, and close in a bracket to separate the premises from the conclusion. And our conclusion is therefore A. So, again, if we will read this, so that will be read as if A then B and B, therefore A. Okay, so we have more examples here for the representation of an argument in symbolic form. So, we have the argument M, then not K, M, therefore K. Pangalawa, we have if not S, then not T, not T, therefore S. So, pag na-represent natin in symbolic form yan, so ang ating nauna will be if M, then not K, and M, therefore K. So, that will be read as if M, then not K, and M, therefore K. Then, yung pangalawa naman natin will be represented in this representation, and this representation will be read as if not S, then not T, and not, not T, therefore S. And then for our practice exercise, so we have where if R then P, not R, therefore P. So we have our symbolic form and then identify or determine how would you read the given symbolic form of our argument. So comment down your answer in our comment box. See you on the next video lesson. Have a nice day. Thank you.